mode update yesterday. Um, I was a little bit rushed, so I didn't really get to everything, but today I will. So first off, um, we have all this new stuff, so we have all the items and blocks, and we even have a new recent thing. Then we have delete, add, paint, um, paint color or something, um, nothing, and then a grid, which I will show you in one sec. Then we have our colors and materials, save, load, play, um, settings button where you can change a bot skin and put hard mode on, which I think is super cool. Um, and then we have uh, the the cutscene creator, and then we have over here settings for hard mode, and then player models, which means you can play as one of these characters when you're player, which is really cool. Um, you can have uh, the this abilities and traps, um, and your bot skin and your skin for yourself. So first off, we'll start with this. So basically, we'll start off with this new tool. So basically, if you click that, it's a resize tool. Um, basically, if you want to drag this all the way out and make it super big, you can. You can make it tall too. I'm not going to right now because I'm going to show you something else with it. Um, but you can make it humongous um, and stuff like that and then hit it to stop it. Um, and yeah, and you can make it whatever color you want. So if you go to this paint tool and then you wanted it grass and uh, let's go with this. And there you go. You can. And you can change that too, of course. Um, so it's a big block, basically. Um, so we'll start off with the new items and stuff like that. So under decoration, we have that chair, um, that sh a shelf, a bed, flower, um, a decoration thing, a computer, barrel, poster, suitcase, digger, truck thingy, radio, trash can, little nightstand thingy, um, vending machine, new fence thing. So I'll add these and I'll show you kind of um, how they work. Uh, so let's change the color of this first because we don't want it. Um, this color will make it rusty, rusty blue, I guess. Um, so then, uh, if we go back to here, we have those fence things, add, uh, things, um, then all old stuff and all this, um, stuff, and then we'll get a fence and kind of show, I'll show you, um, how it's work, how it works. So basically now you can connect them instead of making them like this and then like that because you can't really connect them like that um so yeah that's really nice um then that's it for like the decorations then events you have player piggy um they look a little different than patrol points so like if you put something like this then the piggy during the game would patrol from here to there from here to there until um you got close to it then it would attack you um, and then the traps, if it walked on a trap thing, then it would place a trap there, which is super cool. I like the trap one the best. Um, then they added, uh, this, the ship door that we've had in the ship, which is really cool. Um, I really like that feature. Um, then we have safes. Safes are awesome because, um, we haven't had those in the past or anything close to it. So we really like these, um, and we're happy to have these. So thank you, Minitune, for these. I think these are one of my favorite features. Um, so basically, if you see this, you click it. It's a yellow save item. You can add any item. So if you wanted to add blue key, you could. If you wanted to add, like, grass, you could. So then once you opened it, then inside would be that. Um, and then you press confirm, and there it is. So I really like these safes. Um, then a door that most of you probably don't know about, um, which is this blowtorch door. So basically what you need to open this, you need um, to go to items and then get the blowtorch, which is new in build mode. Um, now you're like, oh, this is easy. You grab the item and open the door. Not really. You have to go to Mimi or NPCs and grab um, Mimi, if you remember in chapter, I forget what chapter, but basically you grab a blowtorch, give it to her, and she'll open this door for you, which is really cool. Um, then we have, 
um, when you go back to here, you have the hammer vent. Um, so you need a hammer to open that vent. Doesn't correspond with the hammer door though. So if like you open the hammer door, it doesn't open that. Then we have the wrench vent that you need a wrench for. Um, and then I think that might be all for, oh no, sorry, we have a lot more. So this is the conveyor belt. So basically from the factory map, you could um, ride it, like if you wanted to make a map where you wanted to walk up here, it's a little hard, but you can. Um, so yeah, that's the conveyor belt. Then we have invisible, or we've had that, sorry. Then we have sound block. So basically you kick this on the top and you can change the volume so the distance 500 blocks away um you could change that though then you need a sound id so if you go into roblox and go into like the settings thing and the library you can find sound id and then in the link in the google search bar it will tell you an id you'll enter that in the sound id and yeah and then looped means like it keeps on going forever and ever um so yeah and then we have notes so basically they're that color now you could always change them but um i could say subscribe and like or not loop like confirm and then uh it didn't can, oh wait it, yes it did Subs it should say yeah it's hard a little hard to see but it says subscribe and like um if you can kind of see that right there um, subscribe and like okay so that's those are the notes you can put them on walls or anything like that um so yeah um you can rotate them and stuff then that's it for this uh, for the events then for um you can now see the items very clearly as you can see like you know everything and what they are so they added i think they added the blowtorch i they might have added the crossbow um, and I think that's it. Then they added, uh, what is this? This is invisible light block. So that's just a light block. You can't really do anything for that. But then we have this block, which is really cool. So basically you hit the settings button at the top. Now you can make red zero. That's an O, sorry. Um, if you wanted to make the light blue, then make everything zero and this like, uh, well, I'll keep it 255, um, and then make it, like, uh, 20 brightness, I guess, range 15, that's fine, and then if you, oh, brightness, you can only go up to 2, then confirm, and now it's blue, kind of, as you can see, makes things bluer, um, and stuff like that, so you can do that, um, which is really, really cool, um, that's it for lights, then NPCs, um, I kind of showed you Mimi already. This is Giraffe. You need to give him grass for him to like move, as you probably know. Um, then you have um, all you. I showed you Mimi. Then you have all these um, uh, the TSP members. So I'm not going to bring out all of them, but I'll show you an example of one of them. So if we press play here, and then bot, um, I will show you. Um, oh, we, well, we need, um, player, we need player spawn and piggy spawn. I forgot about those. Those are quite important. Um, and then piggy spawn, we'll put that there. And then if we plus, press, I said plus, uh, if we press play, um, then we can. And, um, basically if we're behind it, that's fine. If we touch it, it's fine. But then... Once we go in front of it, it will chase you, just like this, and kind of get you. So I'll let it get me, because I have no reason to play, keep playing. Um, so yeah, those are those things. Um, and then I bet you all are excited for the cutscene part, so I will show you that. Also, the sound block and the light bar are invisible, so yeah, to players. Um, so let's get into the cutscene part. So, basically, if you add a scene, um, and you do hit this, then, and you pick an actor, um, 
we'll do how about giraffe and Mimi so there's giraffe um right here so if you wanted to place him right here you can rotate him and do that you can make him like you can make him like and we'll make him sad <clears throat> and then we'll save that um and then we'll say i'm so sad um you can add music to the music id thing like like i said for the sound block <clears throat> and then this is for so if you wanted the camera to be here you place it there and then for where do you want the camera to be facing like so if you placed it here then the camera would be facing this way if you wanted it to be here it would be facing right at her um so basically then um speaker giraffe um and then we click i think we click the x and we'll take a look at it like this um and it should show so it kind of looks sad, right? So yeah, that's kind of the cutscene part. And then you could add more characters and then add another scene and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to wrap everything up. Comment down below if I missed something. I think I got almost everything um, covered. But yeah, like I said, comment down below if I missed something. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and smash that like button. Um... Comment down below what you liked about this update. If you like this update, if you didn't like this update, comment down below. Um, comment down below anything I missed, too. Um, so, like I said, subscribe and like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.